Hello everybody and welcome to your love messages. These readings are intended for those of you who are currently in separation from your romantic partner or you are involved in a very complicated romantic situation. I will do a reading for each and every sign. There are timestamps listed below for each sign. However, I am doing this video as a premiere so the timestamps will not work until after the video has fully premiered. And those of you who join me for the premieres, thank you so much much. I am so grateful that you take time out of your day to come hang out with me and chat with me. Um, this reading will cover the time frame of July 16th through 31st. I will start with Aries, go all the way through the Zodiac to Pisces. All right, Aries, let's look at your complicated or separated romantic situations and see what's going on July 16th through 31st. missing you all right so separated that lets you know exactly how they're feeling about you okay they are missing you as you are missing them those of you in these complicated situations this is definitely talking about some distance and you're feeling it and so is this other person so for july 16th through 31st you know you equally are missing each other feeling the separation feeling the distance feeling um, the connection emotionally and spiritually, but you know, that physical touch not being there. So let's pull some heart and soul messages to see why we're stuck in this energy of missing you. Why can we not um, move beyond it? Or maybe we can. Let's see what spirit has to say. Show me the heart and soul this person Aries is involved with. We've got a heart message. I failed at loving you. I'm flawed and I need to figure myself out. So Aries, there is definitely some accountability and this is general. So this absolutely could be how this person that you are thinking about is truly feeling or if you feel like you really dropped the ball and screwed things up, this is speaking of your heart and how you're feeling like, oh man, why did this happen? Why did I do that? Why did I say that? Okay, so there's definitely some remorse going on in the heart space. And now we have an ego message. I have emotional baggage and I am not over some part of my past. So those of you in separation, that's the answer. That's what's wrong. That's why you guys are apart. There is some sort of emotional baggage that must be addressed and handled. Okay, those of you in these complicated connections, that's why we're complicated there is some emotional baggage going on and whoever has the emotional baggage is fully aware of it and has guilt has remorse you know that it does exist and the way it impacts your connection okay it's absolutely there so let's pull some tarot the fool so you both desire a new beginning a fresh start queen of wands this could be speaking of you aries because this is fire energy or you could be involved with a fellow fire sign aries leo sag and last we have the two of discs change so aries this person whether separated or in a very complicated connection very attracted to you, very drawn into you, truly wants a real beginning with you, a fresh start with you, but there are changes that have to be made. And those changes revolve around this emotional baggage, whoever is carrying that, that is um, a big wedge between the two of you. That's why we're separated or that's why we're complicated right now and we can't, um, you know, commit to each other or, or there's just a lot of distance and disconnection going on. Things feel weird. It's because somebody really needs to work on emotional baggage. The person who needs to do that is fully aware of it and is feeling remorse. Okay, Aries. So for the 16th through the 31st of July, 
this is what's going on in your heart space as well as the heart space of the person you are involved with and I do believe you guys will come into some sort of resolution because you both desire a new beginning right here okay so those are your messages Aries I am sending you lots of love and light and wishing you lots of healing in your connection take care of yourself all right hello Taurus let's see what is going on in your separated or complicated romantic connections show us Taurus July 16th through 31st Taurus Okay, Taurus, we have the same mistake coming out as the energy. So this is separation. For those of you that are separated, this is spirit letting you know that separation is the best course of action for these two weeks, these last two weeks of July, because the same thing will happen again. Um, somebody needs to really evolve here and grow beyond pattern behavior. Okay, and so you're in separation for your own safety, for your own preservation, because the same thing will just happen over and over. Those of you in these really complicated connections, this is spirit saying that something needs to change. You can't keep doing the same thing over and over and expect a different result. And as hard as change can be, it's time to really think, how can I go about this differently? What can I say that's different? What can I do that's different that will facilitate a big change? Okay, so let's pull some heart and soul messages, Taurus, and see what's going on, you know, in the heart space of this person that you are separated from or um, just in a very complicated situation and connection why are we stuck here with certain pattern it just feels like it keeps looping okay so we have an ego message I have an addiction to you it's the reason I always come back but never stay and another ego message I feel like there is a constant power struggle between us okay Taurus so what I'm feeling here, those of you in the complicated connections, this person doesn't want to give. Like they want to take, they want to enjoy you, they want to enjoy your company, they want to enjoy your body, they want to, you know, enjoy your time, but they don't want to give beyond what's convenient for them. Okay, that's just where they're at. They're being very selfish within themselves. Okay, and you cross watchers out there, you know, if this is, you're like, oh no, you're speaking of my Taurus, you can't, this is interchangeable, all right? It's a general reading, so you have to receive it how it fits, but I'm reading for Taurus, so I just see this energy of somebody very selfish, very caught up within themselves, and it's like, it's all about me, and when you try to reach out and say, hey, I deserve more, I want more, you know, etc., it's like, oh no. I don't think so and and they see it more as a power struggle where what you're asking for is not too much okay and so those of you in separation it's the same thing this person is more concerned about themselves and what they want rather than you know truly what's fair what's right what's just and in separation it's spirit protecting you it doesn't mean the situation can never change it's just uh, right now this person is very caught up within themselves and what they want and when it's convenient for them. And that's very hurtful to you and you deserve much, much better than that, Taurus. So let's uh, pull some tarot. Knight of Discs, it's better to just be friends right now. It's better to just be friends. Somebody really has to evolve and, and figure some things out. Yeah, uh, Ten of Discs wealth um, this to me is saying it will get there this person will get there not in these next two weeks but it will happen and now look at that yeah we have the prince of discs now so you've got nothing but earth energy coming through here and you've got two ego cards and same mistake this is where somebody is very focused on the physical in the 3d 
and we've already picked up on that like what's good for me and Taurus right now it's just better for you to be this person's friend because I don't think they really know what they want and so if spirit has separated you it's for your own protection because you deserve more and it will be far too painful for you to endure their evolution while it's taking place okay and those of you in these really complicated connections spirits saying you've got to make a change somehow some way to um, stop this repeating cycle and what you are asking for it is not too much but there are no cups here for this person they're very 3d right now that's what they're focused on it's all about achievement competition me 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 and that's just where they're at and so spirits saying you're better off just being friends let them evolve what's meant to be will be and if you're meant to be with this person it's after they do some growing okay and again cross watchers this could be interchangeable you could be dealing with the Taurus and you're like you are talking about my Taurus and that would be where they're at you know they've got some evolving to do um, they're not in a place of I'm ready to commit I'm, I'm ready to settle down they're just not there yet and that's why they behave the way that they do all right Taurus so for the next two weeks ask spirit to show you how do I create this change so that the same mistake doesn't happen and we can truly evolve into um, something different, something more. All right, so those are your messages. Taurus, I am sending you guys lots of love and light and lots of healing for this connection and um, evolution for whoever needs it, okay? So take care of yourself. All right, hello, Gemini. Let's see what's going on for you guys and your complicated or separated connection. Show us Gemini spirit. Gemini, you've got a new romance showing up. You've got some new love coming in. So those of you in separation, there is a beautiful breeze rolling into your life that may just sweep you right off your feet. Those of you in these complicated situations, um, there's somebody new that's going to be turning your head and distracting you. Um, and this may totally pull you away from this separated connection or this complicated connection. All right. It's just spirits saying these last two weeks of July, there's somebody knocking on your door trying to offer you some love and some romance. So let's pull a couple of cards to look at the heart and soul of the one that you are separated from or in a complicated connection with. got a heart message I failed at loving you I'm flawed and need to figure myself out sorry if you hear my kitty he scratches on the wall right next to my patio door because he wants to go out and every time I start doing these readings he's like hey I want out so I'm sorry if you hear him um, they know that they failed they're realizing that okay now, oh, we've got another heart message. Our connection is etched into my soul. I just cannot seem to forget you. Gemini, you want to know what I think is happening here? I think there is somebody that's going to come into your world and is going to really uh, turn your head and distract you. And this person that you're separated from or are in this complicated relationship with is going to notice is going to feel a change and shift in your energy and that might be what facilitates and activates um, some growth some evolution within them like oh snap what did I do like I don't want Gemini to get away from me so Gemini you might have a choice on your hands um, this uh, person you're separated from may show back up. This complicated connection may all of a sudden be like, you know what, let's make it real. Let's get this right. And it's because your energy is shifting because there is somebody who wants your time, is treating you like you deserve. And uh, they are feeling it. So I think you're going to have a choice between this uh, past and this new love that's coming in. 
eight of discs so uh, you've learned a lot you've evolved a lot and once your attention is somewhere else I feel like this person is gonna wise up very quickly about what you mean to them where they've been stuck in the past oh yeah cuz look at six of wands victory mm-hmm and lastly we have look at that the two of cups love Gemini Listen, I just think you're going to have a choice. You are going to have a choice, okay? Um, and some of you, because this is general, this new uh, person coming into your world is amazing. And you're making a decision. Do I let the past go? Do I let this complicated connection go and just, you know, fall into this new romance? And I would say, yeah, it looks beautiful, okay? It looks absolutely beautiful if that's the case. And others of you, what I feel is this new person in your life is causing this person you're separated from or in this complicated connection with to feel jealous, to feel insecure because they're noticing a shift in your energy or they know there's somebody else and that makes them wise up really quick as to what you mean to them, how, what you matter to them, okay? However, I just feel like this new person it kind of sweeps you off your feet unexpectedly so you have a choice on your hands Gemini so those are your messages for the last two weeks of July I am sending you guys lots of love and light to take good care of yourselves Gemini hello cancers how are you let's see what love messages are coming through for those of you in separation these complicated connections show us cancer you deserve better oh cancer spirit saying these last two weeks of July don't focus so much on this person and what's meant to be what should be what could be focus on you and healing you because right now this person is very much consumed within themselves and what they want okay and this is a general reading so if you are a cross watcher this can be interchangeable all right but what I'm seeing here is it's time to focus on you and see the red flags about this person and it doesn't mean that things can't change but these last two weeks of July you need a recharge you need some healing you need some love you've been through a lot uh, with this connection and it's kind of just sucked you dry cancer all right so we've got a heart message I love you but I need space right now I'm no good for you in this frame of mind so this uh, person you're separated from or are in this complicated connection with they have a recognition that they're not good for you right now all right, Spirit saying you deserve better, and then here's their energy saying I'm not in my right mind. I'm not um, in a place to offer you what you deserve, what you give to me. There's a recognition within them about that. Now we have ego. I run when things get challenging. Yeah, they always leave you holding the bag, Cancer. Um, they are struggling with that because you are a good energy. You are a loving energy. And they know that they've taken advantage and that they let you down and that they've hurt you. And I really feel your energy super drained from this person, from this connection, Cancer. So Spirit's coming in and saying these last two weeks, focus on you. Call on Archangel Raphael to help you heal to help you find relief to help you find clarity and recognize that this person um, they've got some issues within that they've got to work on and figure out and they know that they know it they are not in the space right now or at least these last two weeks and so it's time to focus on you and healing you and trust the universe about everything else all right so let's pull some tarot We've got the moon. There's there's a lot of mystery to this. There's a lot of emotion. There's a lot that's hidden and there's a lot that's going to be revealed in the future. Two of swords. You need some peace, but there's a lot that's blocked or hidden right now. And that doesn't have to be a negative thing. I feel this is more the energy coming in between the two of you because this person is really toxic right now. And I don't think they mean to be that. Like, they're not a bad person. 
they just have some things they must figure out and now we have um, the strength card lust um, it's like the only thing that could be offered to you from this person at this time is a very uh, non-committal empty relationship and, and you're you can't handle that anymore it's really run you dry within cancer and these last two weeks of july spirit wants you to focus on you and loving you and just realize right now at least these last two weeks this person just isn't in the space they absolutely need to work on themselves and even they know that okay so those are your messages cancer i am sending you guys lots of love and light and a healing prayer for this connection because i do feel um it can change in time there's more that's going to be revealed to you but these last two weeks it's time to focus on healing okay so take care of yourself cancer hello leo how are you let's pull some cards here and see what advice spirit has for you regarding the person you are separated from or are in a complicated connection with okay so we've got karmic lessons coming through so this last two weeks of July you both are really working through some energy about each other, about past relationships. There's just going to be a lot that's on your mind and on your heart. A lot of things playing out um, within memory. And this goes for the person that you are separated from or in this complicated connection with. Okay, this is a, a very like distorted, kind of confused energy. And some of you who are in separation, you're separated because one of you is dealing with a karmic, is working through a karmic contract right now. Okay, and so um, that's hard and heavy to deal with. Like I totally get it, but you know, those of you in separation, one of you is dealing with a karmic contract. Now, those of you in these complicated situations, this could go one of two ways. This could uh, mean that this connection is only a karmic to you, okay? Or you guys have agreed to resolve some past karmic energies through each other, through this connection, all right? So the last two weeks of July, you guys are wrapping up these energies, which means you're gonna finally move beyond it. Thank goodness, right? So let's pull some cards for heart and soul messages um, to see what's going on inside of them. And you know, those of you who are cross watching for Leo's, this uh, could be interchangeable. So just keep that in perspective. Okay, so we have a heart message. I'm still very hurt about what happened. I need more time. So those of you in separation, regardless of went down, what went down, there is still a lot of pain in their heart, okay, about what was said, um, what was done, just history of your connection, of your relationship. And again, you guys have been working on some hairy lessons with each other. So they do still have some pain in their heart that they're working through. And you as well may have a lot of pain in your heart that you're still working through. Now we have ego. I try to control everything because I don't feel very in control of myself. So right now, this person is more presenting with their ego rather than their heart space because this connection makes them feel out of control like they can't control what happens they can't control their emotions about it it's very intense for them okay just as it is for you and I feel a lot of sadness um, between the two of you those of you in separation like kind of feeling like you beat your head against the wall like why 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 does XYZ happen okay it's because you guys signed up for some heavy lessons with each other but you're wrapping that up you're coming to the end of that you will evolve beyond it and those of you you know in these complicated connections there's some healing that has to take place okay there is absolutely some healing that has to take place there's some trust issues here and again it's because you guys are uh, working through some heavy energies with each other so let's pull all right well that jumped out let's pull some tarot so the hanged man there's a perception shift that needs to happen 
the three of wands so we've been waiting for this but also we watch each other from afar and six of swords okay moving on to better these last two weeks of July, Leo, are more about a shift in perception and healing coming in between you and this person, whether it's happening just within you or um, the two of you together moving through these energies. All right, you are coming to the end. You are going to have a major shift in perception. Um, things that you've been wondering about or wanting to know for quite some time are finally going to be revealed to you, which allows you to feel better in the mental body and in the heart space about this person. Okay, you're moving into a path of harmony, of smoother waters about this person, whether mentally and emotionally or in physical reality. Okay, so that is very, very positive. You are moving on. On. and also you guys um, in separation you guys watch each other from afar check in on each other from time to time those of you in these complicated situations it's pretty much the same thing over the next two weeks there's going to be a big shift in perception in one or both of you and through that process there is a change that takes place which makes things feel much better okay so there's some things that need to be healed within this connection and within both of you. And that's really what we're working on the last two weeks of July and wrapping up these heavier energies. Thank goodness. So August is going to be a different experience um, in this complicated or separated connection, Leo. So those are your messages. I am sending you lots of love and light, Leo. Take really good care of yourselves. Hello Virgo, how are you? Let's see what's going on for Virgos in these separated or complicated connections. Serious relationship. Ooh, things are going to shift here, Virgo. Those of you in these complicated connections, this may be the turning point, okay? Where instead of just being casual, um, at an arm's distance, things are really going to shift and you guys are gonna have a moment of growing closer and overcoming. Those of you in um, these separated connections, you know, there may be some concern. Um, I do feel for some of you that are separated, this person is in a relationship with somebody else and there's some, you know, worry and concern about is that really where they belong? You know, are they my soulmate or do they really belong with this other person? Okay, so there is some confusion within your heart about that. So let's pull some heart and soul messages and see what spirit has to say. Spirit, show us their heart and soul. Out Virgo. All right, so this jumped out and it says, I have emotional baggage and I am not over some part of my past. All right, so this is the answer for those of you in separation where um, your person is in a relationship with somebody else now. Is it serious? No, it's not. Here's the answer they're not over you, they're not over you at all and they have no business being involved with somebody else because of this. There is emotional baggage within them about you for sure. Okay, so those of you in separation, there you go. Those of you in these complicated connections, the reason for the complication is because of this, is because of the emotional baggage that exists in one or both of you, okay? Next is a heart message. I am still very hurt about what happened. I need more time to heal. Okay, so those of you separated, there you go. I'm still in love with you. It's with me every day. I try to run away from it through this other person, but it's not 
it's not working, it's not happening. I'm with this other person for all the wrong reasons. So know that Virgo spirit just confirmed that for you through these messages. Those of you in these complicated situations, again, there is some emotional baggage that exists deeply in one of you and it, it's probably around a serious relationship of the past where somebody got very, very burned and they're, they're in the struggle. It's hard for them to open up. It's hard for them to be vulnerable about things. So recognize that. Don't, um, you know, even if you have a lot of attachment to them, don't let them take advantage of you. Um, you know, really tap into their energies and ask them, you know, can this go anywhere? What do you need? What do you need to heal? What's on your mind? What's on your heart? Okay, um, because I do feel through that vulnerability and being so raw and real and understanding and supporting, it's like they could just open up to you and express all of this. Okay, because I do feel they want to move beyond it. It's not the same for those of you who are separated where this person is in no way over you. Those of you in these complicated situations, I feel what this person is not over about their past is the heartache and the pain. It's not that they're missing somebody pining for somebody or still in love with somebody else. It's truly like they got burned bad and they're very afraid of a serious relationship, but you do mean a lot to them, Virgo. So let's pull some tarot. We've got the strength card coming through, temperance coming through, and seven of wands. Yes, Virgo. Those of you in these separated situations, this person is not over you by a long shot. They truly have no business being with somebody else because their heart is not open or free whatsoever. They do desire a reconciliation with you, but I just don't think they know how to do that yet. They are filled with a lot of um, unbalanced, unreconciled emotions about your connection, and they just need some more time to figure it out, but they are not over you, so do not be fooled, okay? And those of you in these complicated situations, um, this person, again, I do feel is hurt about the past not hoping for it back not stuck on somebody really needs to heal within but you are very special to this person virgo so it's just they need some more time and understanding and you know um you recognizing that allows the connection to grow even deeper okay so those are your messages virgo for these last two weeks of july i am sending you guys lots of love and light virgo take care <clears throat> hello libra how are you let's see what spirit has to say about your separated and complicated situations for these last two weeks of July. All right. Oh, look at that, Libra. You and this person are a power couple, okay? So those of you in these complicated connections, there is a lot of potential to this relationship and you recognize that, okay? Those of you in separated situations um, right now, regardless of how things look, you guys are still very connected at the soul, okay? In fact, I almost feel that you guys are better together than apart. And maybe somebody needs to learn that lesson, and that's why we're separated. This is a beautiful blending of energies, a perfect pair, meant to be a beautiful match, all right? So let's pull some heart and soul messages and see why, if this is so beautiful and meant to be, why there is a separation, why is there a complication? So let's pull some heart and soul, Libra. heart message. I write messages to you. I just can't seem to send them. 
So separated, there you go. They're missing you. They want to connect with you. Maybe not sure how to do that or just depending on the situation at hand that they're in, you know, might be complicated and hard. Those of you in these complicated connections, there's a lot that this person holds back that they keep in their heart. They're, they're some fear-based energies, okay? Um, they might fear love. They might fear intimacy from, you know, past bad experiences. And now we have a spirit guide coming through. You have work and growing to do. This is meant to happen while you are separated from each other. So those of you in separation, there you go. You both really love each other. There is a very strong bond and connection that exists between the two of you, but there's some growing and some work that must be done. Um, on both sides through your separation and it's evolving you both into these energies of a perfect fit a beautiful match um, you know the power couple energy and those of you in these complicated connections um, you know there is within one of you somebody's not fully ready for this yet for the the serious full-blown love affair partner for life uh, commitment they're just they're not there yet they have a lot of attraction a lot of emotion but they, they need some more time and that's why it's complicated right now more time is needed so let's pull some tarot and see what comes out there Ten of Cups, oh yeah, oh you definitely see this person as your one, a Princess of Cups, nice, and Queen of Swords, okay Libra, so very strong possibility you are dealing with the water sign here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and for other Libras, could be an air sign, um, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, so what I see going on here is that, that Ten of Cups, I do feel this is a connection that is meant to be. And in separation, it's because you both have growing and evolving to do. Okay, that's why we're apart. I feel as though October, there's going to be some change in the separation. Okay, so there's going to be, look towards October, but don't just like only focus on that and, and forget to be in the present. Um, open yourself up. Ask spirit, what do I need to heal? What do I need to grow and evolve into? There's just something shifting and changing in this separated connection in October. All right. I do feel that you guys are meant to be. It's just we need some time. Um, we need some emotional maturing for sure. Okay. One or both of you. Those of you in these complicated connections, um, Again, it's somebody needs to figure some things out first, and I feel around October, that is when there's going to be a shift, a big change. So between now and then, your best bet is to just really take things lightly and trust spirit that all things that are meant to be will unfold in the time frame in which is right. And between then and now, just connect to the angels. What do I need to do? How should I grow? What do I need to evolve into? Okay, it's because somebody's just got to work a few things out. All right, Libra. So those are your messages. I am sending each and every one of you lots of love and light. Take care. Hello, Scorpio. How are all of you doing? Let's see what the messages are for those of you in these separated or complicated connections. Okay, Scorpio, we have unrequited attraction. So what this tells me is those of you who are in separation right now, this person is not open to a reconciliation for whatever reason. That does not mean that they don't care, that they don't have feelings for you. It's just they're very closed off right now. Um, 
and it could be what was what happened between the two of you what was said or they could feel like what they did and said permanently closed that door it's just these last two weeks of July for whatever reason this person you're separated from doesn't see that this can come back together just yet or is not fully open to that coming back together just yet okay and Scorpio those of you in these um, really complicated situations the emotions are not balanced between you and this person um, one of you is more vested and more interested in making this connection work and evolve into more than the other is and that's why it's complicated that's why it feels bad so let's pull some heart and soul cards and see what's going on within their heart within their soul and you know those of you in separation why they're not quite open to talking or to a reconciliation or why they may think that it's just it can't happen you know based on the way things ended what they did what they said or those of you in these uh, complicated connections, why is this person not as invested? Why are they taking more? Okay, so in the heart, I'm too afraid to admit the truth to you. There you go. Those of you in separation, that's your answer. That's why they're not open to reconciliation right at this moment or they're afraid it can never be because of, you know, the truth within their heart, um, what they would have to say, what they would have to own up to, what they would have to take accountability on. All right, Scorpio. So that's why that's that way right now through the last two weeks of July. Those of you separated a lot of fear based energy about taking accountability and facing the truth of things. Those of you in these complicated situations, they don't want to tell you that they're not as invested as they've uh, advertised themselves to be, okay? Um, I just feel they may be emotionally unavailable right now. So let's see what else comes out. Okay, we've got another heart. Our connection is etched into my soul. I just can't seem to forget you. So, separated. That speaks volumes, right? They're just very afraid to take ownership and accountability for what they've done and what they've said. A lot of fear-based energy is within them, and um, they do not forget you. They are haunted by you. Those of you in these complicated situations, this person definitely has a bond, has a connection to you, Scorpio, but there is something that they have not revealed, something that they hide from you, which again um, has your energy very open and their energy very closed, which creates this imbalance and you absolutely feel that. So let's pull some tarot. Eight of Wands, so we're going to have some communication finally these last two weeks. Princess of Wands, nice. Some of you could be dealing with some fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sag, and Ten of Discs, Wealth. All right, so those of you in these complicated connections, um, you know, over these next two weeks, the last two weeks of July, I do feel that this person is going to try to connect with you. It's going to try to hook up with you, maybe take you out, bring you a gift, be generous with you, okay? But, Scorpio, you have to recognize that there's a pattern to them and there's something that they're hiding, something that they're not dealing with within themselves. They're too afraid to own up to it, to express it to you. So in complicated connections, you are going to be receiving a bit of attention from them these last two weeks of July. And it's up to you what you do with that, okay? Um, there's just something that they're not open about. And they're, they definitely um, don't give and feel as much as you do. And for the reason for that is going to be different for all of them. Okay, this is a general reading. But um, they're definitely going to be giving you some attention. Especially if you've really pulled back, they're going to notice that. And I feel like come in stronger. But Scorpio, I would put my foot down and demand more 
than what's been given in the past, okay? Those of you in separation, um, high probability of some contact of them reaching out to you, wanting to discuss things, wanting to say that they've been thinking of you, they miss you, etc. Okay, um, just remember that they do need to take accountability for something. And some of you, this contact could happen within these next two weeks. And for others of you, um, it could be coming in August or October. Okay, but they need to own up to things of the past. And when they're ready to do that, that's when they're going to reach out to you, Scorpio, because they know they've got to say the truth and own themselves. And they want to because they're haunted by you. All right. So those are your messages, Scorpio. I am sending you guys lots of love and light. Take care. Hello, Sagittarius. How are you? Pull some cards and see what spirit has to say about your separated or complicated connection. Show us a Sagittarius. All right, we've got some lust, Sagittarius. Those of you in separation, um, they are thinking about you, having some naughty thoughts, remembering the good old days with you, and they're feeling it. Okay, 100. Those of you with these complicated connections, um, right now, I do feel that you and this person, um, there's a lot of chemistry and physical connection and attraction going on like that's kind of where you guys are at which I feel is making it complicated to run deeper um, to really get to the emotions and you know the the spiritual connection of things it's not to say that doesn't exist but I do feel there's an imbalance of energy perhaps this person is extraordinarily physically attracted to you and that blinds them a bit okay it's like they might be a bit more focused on that rather than the true connection that exists between the two of you and therefore you may be feeling that like you know you you um, always compliment me and that makes me feel good and you know you always want to get down with me but <clears throat> I would like more conversation. I would like more of X, Y, Z. And, um, you know, they can say, okay, yeah, I offer you this. But um, I don't know, Sagittarius, they may be just very uh, enchanted and spellbound by you so much so that it's hard for them to move beyond that attraction, even though there's more that exists between the two of you. Okay, so let's pull some heart and soul cards and see what is going on inside of them. Ego. I am codependent, but I'm not fully aware of this. All right, so uh, complicated situations, there you go. Um, there's a codependency they feel towards you. And I mean, with less sitting there in the middle, they're so attracted to you and drawn into your energy. It's like they um, almost are addicted to you in some capacity. And those of you in separation, the reason why we are separated, why spirit, you know, um, put a wedge there is because they they have some codependency issues that they need to work on and they need to work out. But man, they are thinking about you. We've got a heart message. I would never admit this to you, but I look at your social media frequently. It's the closest I can be to you right now. So those of you in separation, there you go. They're still looking in on you. They're still checking in on your world. What Sagittarius got going on? You know, um, is Sagittarius with anybody else? They miss you. But um, I feel those of you separated, it was on some pretty hard terms. And uh, they may not be sure, how do I come back from that? And they've got some healing and some work they need to do within themselves, overcoming um, codependency or addiction 
or really getting responsible and maturing okay so those of you in separation that's what's going on that's why spirit separated you but this person is absolutely thinking of you sad Ooh, they are um, and those of you in these complicated connections um, this person is very complicated, Sag. They they stalk you a bit, okay? But man, I feel like they they play it off as very aloof. And that's why you're like, I don't get it, man. You're just always all over me and stuff. But then you're completely ice cold and distant and disconnected. They're never far away. It's like almost like they're playing mind games with you, Sagittarius. And um those of you who are cross watching, this can be interchangeable, okay? So it's like this uh, complicated connection. This person is very manipulative, very controlling, quite insecure, and hides a lot, okay? Hides a lot of their, their true self. Ten of Wands. Um, look at that's uh, oppression they they play games those of you in these complicated in fact Sagittarius it may be like this person sees you as such a prize that they're afraid of it like they want to treat you badly or um, it's almost like this is too good to be true it's crazy the energy I'm feeling because man they are so drawn into you okay they really like you they're really all about you um, but there's this like manipulation these games that go on and I really feel it's because they're very insecure Sagittarius and they don't like they don't want you to like realize that maybe you could have better or you could do better okay like they really see you in a, in a high light but I don't feel they show that to you and you know those of you separated it's a very similar uh, storyline okay they've got a lot of work to do within themselves they're very haunted by the separation next is the two of cups love yep um, love exists love exists and three three of discs work so a uh, complicated connection there you go they are all about you they just play games and they manipulate because they're very insecure they've got some growing up to do those of you in separated situations um, I do feel there's a deep desire in this person to reconcile with you, but at this time they may not know how or feel like the timing is right, um, or they may have some more growing to do, but they, you are definitely on their mind and they're having a lot of thoughts about you. All right, Sagittarius, so those are your messages. I am sending each and every one of you lots of love and light. Take care. Hello Capricorn, how are you guys? Let's see what love messages are coming through for your separated or complicated connections for the last two weeks of July. Our love story, ooh, so those of you in these complicated connections, there is going to be a turn for the good okay those of you in separation you and this person are not over there is still a lot more to this journey okay our love story is all about a relationship that is highly significant in your life in your world okay this is your true soulmate your true love type of energy that comes from this card so let's take a look at this person's heart and soul space and see what's going on there like why are things complicated or why are we separated because you guys are very significant in each other's lives in your uh, story of your lives this incarnation ego I'm deceptive I even lied to myself I have a lot of work to do now we got hearts I want you in my life I'm not sure how that would work just yet okay so separated Capricorns there you go this person needs to do some growing and some evolving and take some accountability for themselves and their actions and cross watchers this can be interchangeable as its general reading okay 
but this person needs to take some accountability for themselves and they do want you in their lives they don't want to be without you like I said your love story is not over your love story is not over okay and those of you in these complicated connections it's the same thing this person um, is being shook by you by your connection and maybe they didn't realize how deep this would run for them but they're feeling it they want you in their life they're just not quite sure how to make that happen the way that you're desiring or the way that you're asking or the way that they know they must be to be in a solid committed loving partnership with somebody they've got some work to do there's some accountability um, issues within them and when things uh, freak them out, they have a tendency to lie to themselves through justification of their own actions, okay? But when it comes to you, they can't do that. Like, they, they feel the conviction within, like, um, you know, when they are wrong. So they just, they've got to grow up a little bit. But there's a lot of potential to uh, this connection. So let's pull some tarot. Princess of Cup or Prince of Cups, Four of Wands, and Queen of Discs. Oh, yes, Capricorn in separation. You and this person will come back together. Okay, you guys have a beautiful love story written for this life journey. Um, right now, this person really does need to grow up and you know take learn to take accountability and you are the facilitator the activator within them that is going to make that possible so you've just got to trust the timing okay of things and spirit will align you when this person has grown and matured a bit because you guys are a very special connection those of you in these complicated connections um, I do feel over these next two weeks you are going to make some progress okay this person really does want to be with you and wants to figure it out and I do see an apology coming okay so separated there will be an apology at some point you guys will come back together it will be a very solid union more solid than it was in the past okay they just have to grow and evolve and mature a bit but you will come back together and that's what they desire as well and complicated um, there you your guys are going to work some things out over these next two weeks okay it might be time for you to call them out on their behavior a little bit because they do want you in their life you do have more power um, than maybe you believe okay so those are your messages Capricorn I am sending you lots of love and light take care Hello Aquarius, how are you? Let's see what messages Spirit has for you regarding your separated or complicated connections these last two weeks of July. Love yourself. All right, Aquarius. Over these next two weeks, Spirit doesn't want you to focus on the one you are separated from. Um, Spirit wants you to focus on loving yourself and um, realizing that you matter. Uh, those of you in separation, it may be that you've been more worried and concerned about the person you're separated from rather than loving and being there for yourself as you deserve okay it doesn't mean that this connection can't work out but for these last two weeks of july spirit says it's time for you to focus within on yourself and give love and healing and concern and nurturing and caring for you because you need that you really need some love right now and those of you in these complicated connections Spirit's giving you a, a very similar message that maybe this is not the best connection for you at this time. I see you as very depleted um, by this person. Okay, so let's pull some heart and soul messages and see what's going on within them. Okay, I didn't appreciate you. 
I'm realizing that now. So those of you in separation, it's time for you to love yourself and pull your energy back so that this person can come into this full understanding that they do need to do better by you, that you do deserve more than what they have put you through, okay? They're gonna come into that understanding, but the more you pull your energy back and work on healing yourself, the faster they come into that understanding. And those of you in these complicated connections, they know that you deserve better than, than what they put you through, Aquarius, okay? They do. We've got another heart message. I failed at loving you. I'm flawed and I need to figure myself out. Yeah. So in separation, Aquarius, um, they, they're, they're coming into the awareness of their wrong and how they wronged you and, and how that harmed you. And cross watchers, this is interchangeable. Okay. This could be how your Aquarius is feeling about you right now. So <clears throat> separated, cry no more tears. They miss you. They're realizing they screwed up, okay? And Spirit wants you to just focus on yourself these last two weeks on healing yourself because there's going to be some changes that, you know, follow in maybe August, September, October between you and this person. Those of you in these um, complicated situations, it's time for you to put yourself first, Aquarius, and put your foot down so that they can come into the awareness that they're not doing you right and you're not going to tolerate it despite how much you may care for them, how much feelings that you may have for them. Okay, so let's pull some tarot. <clears throat> the Emperor, yes, focus on loving and healing yourself because you're going to become very empowered through that process. Six of Wands, and that's going to lead you towards the victory that you desire, Aquarius. And Five of Cups, Disappointment. All right. So in separation, right now is not the time to worry or think about and focus on when will we get back together. It's time to work on healing yourself because I do feel this relationship will come back together at some point. Absolutely. You have a victory coming through. And it's like the more you work on loving and healing yourself, you become very empowered. And that really shifts the energy and accelerates the process of the person you're separated from figuring it out, okay? Those of you who are in these complicated connections, again, it's time for you to pull your energy back and put your foot down and not settle for anything less than what you deserve and have no fear in losing this person. Spirit says, love you, empower you, and that's going to change everything. All right, Aquarius. So those are your messages. I am sending you guys lots of love and light. Take care. Hello, Pisces. How are you guys? Let's see what Spirit has to say about your separated or complicated connections. All right. Well, there we go. Okay. So we've got a broken heart coming through. Those of you in separation, the person you are separated from is experiencing a lot of sadness and broken heart over you. Pisces right now and this is a general reading so if you are a cross watcher this could be interchangeable and your Pisces could very well be feeling a broken heart about you okay so those of you in separation we're sad um, somebody is missing you somebody is thinking about you big time those of you in these complicated situations um, we're going to pull more cards but Pisces, if they just keep breaking your heart over and over, and this has been a repetitive process, it may be time to put your foot down and cut them off for a little bit because that may shift the energy and wake them up and realize they cannot be a yo-yo in your life and just come and go as they please, take advantage, you know, leave you feeling in this energy. All right, so let's pull some heart and soul messages and see what's going on inside this person. Ego, 
karma hasn't caught me yet, so I'm not really aware of how my impact, my actions impact you and others. Okay, those of you in the complicated connection, there's your answer, Pisces. It is time for you to put your foot down and kind of cut them off, no matter how much you care. And do not be afraid to lose them because they they take advantage and they will continue to do so until they get karma. Okay or you make a drastic change which facilitates them into an awakening, a realization. So do not be afraid to lose them if they're treating you badly. It's time for you to put your foot down because they're just gonna keep hurting you. And those of you in separation, um, I feel with this, initially everything that this person you know, put you through in the connection and, and how things ended, Karma is finally catching them now, and their heart is breaking now, and they're really missing you now, Pisces. Next is another ego message. I take more than I give. So those of you in these complicated connections, there you go, Pisces. This person truly is um, taking more than they're giving to you. They're depleting you. They're leaving you sad. They're leaving you brokenhearted. And it's time for you to put your foot down and have no fear in um, you know, losing them. Because I, I feel once you change what you're doing and you kind of cut them off for a minute and they realize that you're serious, it freaks them out and they're like oh my gosh I'm losing my Pisces what the heck and they're gonna realize that they can't treat you that way like that you deserve more than what they've been offering to you okay and those of you in separation yep karma is finally catching up to this person and you know they took way more than they gave to you and they're realizing it now just the way everything's unfolding and there is a lot of sadness in their heart they're missing you they are so remorseful Pisces you are the one that got away that's what they're feeling and experiencing these last two weeks of July so let's pull some tarot seven of swords yeah look futility Pisces in these complicated connections seriously put your foot down demand change do something drastically different because that's gonna snap this person into reality okay 100 those of you who are separated this person seven of swords they are regretting every awful thing they ever said or did to you they're feeling convicted karma has caught them next is six of wands and this is like a victory for you, you are the one that got away, okay? You are um, on their mind, on their heart, so much remorse going through them. You may hear from them these last two weeks of July, okay? Or maybe beyond that, like they're really filtering through a lot of emotions, a lot is changing and shifting in their life, Pisces. Karma's catching them and they're feeling the weight of the world on their shoulders and they're missing you and they're thinking about you and realizing that you are the one that got away. Those of you in these complicated connections, again, you've got to change what you're doing and put this person in their place, and that's going to lead you into your victory, okay? And lastly, Will of Fortune, yes, Pisces, awesome, in separation. They are getting every single thing they dished out to you. Um, they are sorry. They miss you. They want the wills of fate to change and to bring you guys back together. Okay? They're feeling it. They're growing. They're evolving. The broken heart they left you with is now the broken heart that they own. Okay? And it goes a bit deeper than what you felt. Okay? Because uh, what we put out returns to us times three, right? And so with the broken heart they gave you, they are now feeling. And um, I do believe they're going to reach out to you, Pisces. They, they want a shift. They want a change. Um, it, they're hurting over you. Those of you in these complicated connections, yep, this person is going to play the same games, the Seven of Swords, until you do something different, Pisces. You shift the will in this one. And... Um, do not be afraid to lose them. If they are not doing you right, put them in their place and be solid and be true in that. And um, it's going to activate a deep awakening within them and they're going to have the broken heart 
the same pain that they've been giving to you that you know has you like why like at your yo-yo you're hot and cold you're back and forth okay change what you're doing put them in their place do not be afraid and it's going to shift the will in your favor it's going to bring the victory to you Pisces okay so those are your messages Pisces I am sending you lots of love and light take care